It's Mr. Gagnon again, and uh, we're going to take a peek at uh, something we call two-dimensional kinematics. Up until this point, what we've been looking at is just uh, straight line kinematics problems, either in the x direction or the y direction. Uh, y specifically being uh, like free fall problems, um, and x being uh, problems where we accelerate an object to the right or the left. Now, in real life, we admit that it doesn't exist in just one dimension. So we're going to add in another dimension, okay? And uh, this is where we start using a little bit of math to help us understand that concept. So uh, what we're looking at first is something called 2D kinematics. And... Um, the study of motion in two dimensions. Uh, in, in reality, life exists in three dimensions plus the time dimension, but we're not going to get into the third dimension. So uh, in kinematics, what we learned was that there are like three basic equations that we've derived into several uh, other equations that we can use to solve motion problems. Um, and the first thing we've got to take a peek at is the fact that things do exist at different angles. So when we look at angles, this is our sign for an angle. Okay. Um, we also are looking at um, items called vectors. Okay. And a vector is simply an arrow drawn to show magnitude... and direction. And the two parts of a vector, tail and head. Uh, some people call the head the tip, uh, but this is the uh, head of the vector, this is the tail of the vector. Uh, and I'm going to give you guys some concrete examples of what a vector could be. Okay, one example is uh, 20 meters. This is our magnitude portion. Okay, 20 meters south. Okay, another example could be 15 meters per second north. Okay, this is our magnitude. This is our direction. Okay, remember it's not a vector if it doesn't have a direction. Okay, let's look, take a look at another one. 25 newtons, that's a force, we haven't learned that yet, but 25 newtons directed at 30 degrees north of west. Okay. And we are looking at this and we're saying, oh, wait a minute, what is that? Um, I'm going to take a peek at that shortly. Okay, so these are all examples of vectors um, that you could draw as an arrow. Okay, what I might call 20 meters south might look like this. Okay, what I might draw as this one might look like this. And then this one. Okay, north of west. So we're getting into a little bit of a coordinate plane type of system here. Okay, north of west. Okay, we know that this is the north line. East, west, south. Okay, north of west. So that means it's north of the west line. So we can consider that to be north of the west line. And that would be 30 degrees north of the west line. Okay. So our vector would look like this, and we'd have a 25 newtons attached to it. Okay. We're going to get into some more detail on how to uh, get our bearing there, we call. Okay, so this is just what a uh, vector is. We're going to be using those in physics quite often to represent forces and other quantities with directions. I think I'll leave it there and have a great day.